Hello everybody, this is Tiziano and today we're going to unpack together the Benewick C30 solid state lighter. The Benewick C30 has no moving parts, so no moving parts, nothing can break. And this comes very in handy if you want to create a fleet of autonomous vehicles, especially for the one that they used to work in the warehouse, for example. The C30 has a pretty wide field of view angle of 132 degrees and a vertical angle of 9 degrees. And it comes in three models. The A and C, the one that I have, they cover up to 4 meters, especially in indoor and outdoor it probably goes from 3 to 3.5 meters. That's plenty for this low robot. And the D model that actually covers up to 30 meters. The A model comes with an embedded obstacle avoidance algorithms, while the C model and the D model, they return the actual point cloud. Okay, I unwrapped the box, now let's open it. And inside the foam we have... Oh, the lighter. Now the C model is uh, Ethernet connected, so you can control it and read data through the Ethernet cable. Over here, oh, and also that's that should be the power cable. Here it is. We have the actual lighter. Wow, look at that. This is tiny. It's metal. It feels great. So as you see here, it's all metal, and it, this is most likely for uh, cooling the system um, because it probably gets pretty hot. And you can see on the back side has two connectors, and one looks like a power connector, and the other looks like for the communication. And now we're going to test this system. If we open the Windows application and we type the IP address, in my case is 192.168.0.80, then we see this weird black, red, and green image. Nothing to worry about. That's just a reference frame that is too zoom. So we just scroll back and here is the point cloud. And here is also my hand waving at you guys. So now we switch to Linux because we're interested in integrating the LiDAR with ROS. You can download the ROS package from the Benewick repository or also from my repository. I put the link in the description below. You build and source the Kakin workspace. And then we can launch a simple example file, so we run the ROS score, and then we run on the other terminal a launch file that I call underscore tiff, where I modify a few parameters, like the IP address, for example. In another terminal, we can verify that the CE30 is outputting the right topic. And then we can also visualize the point cloud in RViz. And here we go. Welcome to my living room. Here we have a dancing kid that is perfectly detected by the Benewake C30. If we need to convert a point cloud to a laser scan topic, there is a package called point cloud to laser scan in ROS. And here in Arbis, you can see the effect. For example, we have the point cloud that is in rainbow color and the laser scan topic in white big squares. Here I'm walking around my house and I'm collecting data and I'll be using the laser scan topic to feed the Hectorslam package. In the end, if I walk around my house collecting point cloud and converting to laser scan topic and run Actorslam, here's the final result. If you guys enjoyed the video, hit the like button below and subscribe to the channel. And remember, never stop learning.